Hello, my name is Russ McKay from IBM's analytics team. I'm going to show you a demonstration of IBM Maximo 7.6 integrated with Autodesk's large model viewer. I'm going to take you through a scenario of a problem that's occurred in one of our facilities. The problem is no hot water anywhere on site. So with it being no hot water anywhere on site, it's likely to be a central component that's giving me the problem, something connected to the hot water system. The way we're going to do this is generate a new work order inside Maximo. Now I can analyze, I can access work orders over here in my list of favorite applications. The screen that you're seeing at the moment is called the Maximo Start Center. I can return to the Start Center by pressing the house button at the top. So we're going to go to work order tracking to generate a new work order. What I need to do is hit this button here. That says generate new work order. And I'm going to put a description in here. The description is no hot water site wide. So that's great. I know we've got a problem, no hot water site wide, but I need to know where this problem is likely to be. To do this, I'm going to go to my locations. And from the locations, I'm going to enter a description of one of the components in the hot water system. So there's going to be a tank in the hot water system. So these are all of the tanks. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm going to select this particular tank here. So now I've selected that tank. We can see it's part of the domestic hot water system here. I can then go to the view button and view that particular tank. This is going to launch the Autodesk large model viewer. It takes a few seconds. Now, this is all cloud based. So the model is actually located on an Autodesk server somewhere in the world. And Maximo is located on another server somewhere in the world. On my machine, all I have is a browser. I don't need to install any viewers or anything else. It's all cloud based. So we have the model. What I want to do now is try and find the pump, sorry, the, uh, the tank. So there's the tank. Um, what I can do is just reduce the size of what I'm seeing by selecting, selecting the uh, zoom button. And I can see a little bit more context about this system. We can see the tank here is connected to a pipe up here. It's probably also going to be connected to this thing here, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. So what I need to do is just click on it. And it will then identify what this component is that I've clicked on. In this case, it's the water boiler. So that's a, a good idea. It could be a problem with the boiler. It's unlikely to be a problem with the tank unless there's a blockage. I don't think there's going to be a blockage. But I'm just taking a guess and it could be the boiler. Wouldn't it be great if I could select all of the components in the system? I can. All I need to do is hit this button here and display all the components in the hot water system. This could be more than one system connected. Here I've got a hot water system and another hot water system, but I could have hot water, cold water, whatever. So now I've got all of the components listed in the hot water system. To display the components in a different colour on the screen, I hit the display button. This then identifies everything in blue that could be a problem. So now all I need to do to select what I believe the problem is, and I think that's definitely the pump, the site-wide problem, no hot water, pretty certain it's nothing to do with these two, it's likely to be this thing that's failed. I'm going to select that by clicking on it. And now I've selected that component and it's an M inline pump. What I need to do now is add this particular pump to the work order. Because we've selected this and I've already got an active work order, all I need to do is do return with value here. It will then insert that pump into the work order. So let's put the uh, pump over here. I notice there's no no on the hot water. I'll just change that. No hot water. So that's the end of this demonstration. There's a lot more to see inside Maximo and the Autodesk large model viewer. But for this uh, demonstration, that's all I'm going to show you. Thank you very much.